First of all, I want to give a shout out to Kevin Durant for having one of the most efficient performances I've ever seen. Um, 40 points on only 13 or 16 shooting from the field. I believe it was something like 5 of 7 from downtown. Uh, 40 points on only 13 made field goals. I remember a game years ago where Kobe had, it might have been back in 2007 or something like that. I remember a game where Kobe had 40 points or 40-odd points on only 12 made field goals. I remember something like that. Um, so that's, that's very efficient, you know. And, of course, with a game like that, you have to have made a lot of uh, foul shots as well. But in the second half, Golden State pulled away from OKC. And uh, they pulled away for a 121-100 victory. Golden State just has too many weapons, man. Okay. And there's going to be Golden State Warrior fans that's going to rejoice over this. And Westbrook haters that's going to, you know, shit on Russell Westbrook. And OKC, from what I understand, they have a tough schedule coming up as far as on the road. They're going up against a lot of elite teams, and they're probably going to lose ground as far as their overall record is concerned. <laughs> and um, Westbrook turned the ball over a lot once again. Had 10 turnovers. Didn't shoot particularly well, but he did perform a lot better than he did in the earlier matchup between these two teams toward the beginning of the season. Uh, Westbrook had, I believe, 27 points, 15 rebounds, and 13 assists. This was his 21st triple-double of the season and the 58th of his career. The 58th triple-double of his career. He's now only one behind the great Larry Bird as far as career triple-doubles. So I'll put him, uh, what is that, fifth all-time? Let me see. Uh, Oscar had 181. Magic 138. Uh, Jason Kidd, I think, had 107 or 108, considering what source you're looking at. And let's see. I think Will had officially 78, though. He most likely had far more than that. So, yeah, this would put uh, him tied with. Bird for fifth all time, his next triple double. Um, I don't know. I mean, they lost. Russell Westbrook did what the fans wanted him to do get a triple double. Um, actually had a quadruple double, I guess, but it's not going to count because of, they don't count turnovers. But um, look, Durant knew who he was playing against. He want to have a big game against Russell Westbrook because of the past and what's going on between those two. But let's be let's be real about something, okay? This is the same team that won seventy three games without Kevin Durant, okay? Russell Westbrook is a one man team, so it's pretty. It's pretty easy to game plan against one player when you know that he's the only real scoring threat that a team has. Okay? The fact that this team is over 500 is, a, is an accomplishment. All right? Now, seeing the history of the league and how they issue out this award, I'm starting to sense now that they're not going to give Russell Westbrook the MVP award. I think they're going to end up giving it to somebody like James Harden. They may, they may consider uh, doing like what the NFL did back in 2004, I think it was, when they had co-MVPs, when it was Peyton Manning and the late Steve McNair. Maybe they might do something like that. Uh, but generally speaking, players from elite teams – win the MVP award when it comes to NBA basketball. Um, so it is what it is, man. Um, Durant had a big game, but 
it's easy to I mean it's easier to be efficient when you have so many scoring you know options on the floor and no one can really game plan against you you know what I'm saying and I still think it's pretty weak I'm sorry maybe it's sour grapes but it's still pretty weak when I see Kevin Durant playing with a team that eliminated him man I mean I, I just it's just weak to me man it's weak. Maybe I'm biased. I don't care. I don't. I mean, shit. I am biased. It's weak to me. Like, you know, people always want to talk about Kim Olajuwon and play with anybody. I mean, who the fuck is Russell Westbrook playing with? Come on. At least Akeem did play with Drexler and an older Thorpe. Okay, people who could score. Westbrook's playing with no one. Not really. Not anybody that can that can that can create their own shot, not really. So I mean, you know, congratulations to Golden State for winning, but congratulations to Russell Westbrook for you know putting on a, a very good performance, albeit with the turnovers. And you know, um, so I gotta say.